What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. I hope you're having a wonderful day. If you are, please remember to click that like button, leave a comment, and make sure you're still subscribed. A huge chunk of my audience watches my videos but are not subscribed. And if you don't, uh, then it will make my cat Colt very sad. And I just don't want that. There's a nice big red button right below the video. Please consider subscribing today. Now, uh, trash game journalist outlet VG247 put out an article celebrating that the uh, 343 Industries uh, makers of Halo had removed police sirens nameplate, uh, police sirens nameplate from Halo uh, and anyone who had a problem with it, well, they were all right. Uh, and, and obviously this was received perfectly well by everyone. You can see the replies. Um, imagine being tilted by a pro police cosmetic being removed from an 11 year old game after mass protests, all while forgetting the original game had a subplot about the police force being corrupt. Imagine if you will see, I can do this too, Victor. I can do this too. Imagine spending time as a developer and resources to remove a pro police nameplate from an 11 year old game don't you see how it's two sides of the same coin an 11 year old game um what wh why else would you have done this if not but to virtue signal honestly i'm curious and you see when it's liberals it's wholesome justifiable outrage when it's conservatives it's all right i mean what? What? Wait till you read some of the hot takes in this article. Alt-right fans? Lamau, yeah, right. I've seen like two genuinely pro-police, not even far right. This article is a joke. Definitely, and the writer is just as toxic. There's nothing worse than an ignorant anti-right person preaching sensibility and peace while doing simultaneously attacking those with different beliefs. They are no better in any way, then they are chastising. Did a 10 year old write this? Okay, let's take a look at the article. This was written by Cyan, Cyan Mayer. Uh, I don't know who that is, um, but I'm actually kind of interested now. Uh, Nickel says I'm pre-blocked. Let's see. Um, no. And there's nothing in your profile that indicates you're a total moron, so that's good. Uh, I assume there'll be some wokeness uh, stuff in here, but it seems relatively um, normal, relatively normal of a feed. So just, just a terrible take in general, I assume. It was recently discovered that H343 uh, Industries removed a nameplate depicting police sirens from the flight version of Halo 3 ODST and alt-right fans are threatened to boycott the series. Now, you couldn't possibly know what the political leanings are of these fans. I think we all know that. And you'll know in just one second just how disingenuous this game journalist is as they cite, you bet, Reset Era as a source. News comes from Reset Era where a poster compl compiled a string of tweets from alt-right Halo players, again, you don't know that they're alt-right, who reacted to the revelation in an incredibly poor fashion. Obviously, the plate was removed from the game due to the atrocious degree of bad behavior by police that erupted. Really? Is it obvious? I don't know. They didn't make a statement about it that I know of. An ostensibly sensible decision. I disagree but one that has caused a stir among the exact people who would likely use it to harass others. There is no chance that this person didn't support banning the OK hand symbol. There's no chance that this person didn't unironically believe that it was a symbol for uh, empowering up white folks. There's zero chance that this guy or gal I don't know, really, I don't want to guess. Um, uh, there's zero chance they don't believe Pepe is a hate symbol. 
A user by the name of Moses FPS brought up an issue regarding one of the nameplates in the current flight for ODST, Fireflight, and Halo 3 hit registration fixes, and one of them are police sirens, reads the post. In the ODST campaign, there are not only police vehicles standard throughout the game, but there are a secondary story regarding the corrupt new Mombasa Police Department that connects the main story, so the nameplate wasn't really out of place. It continues, but at the same time, with the current political climate, 343 Industries decided to remove it from the flight and probably the final release. Here's the thing. Obviously, I agree that each one of these little micro erosions is not a big deal on their own. But what they really are doing is rewriting history. Rewriting the history of their game. And the way that digital media is now, we can't really own an untouched version of many new games. Digital downloads and patches are constantly applied, so to play games in their original state means you're either accepting a heck of a lot of bugs, or in many cases, you simply cannot play the game at all. This is why I highly recommend people consider playing games that rely exclusively on physical media. The game market for just from NES to Super NES to N64 and PlayStation 1 to um, Xbox, there is a gigantic, huge market of games that you can buy the disc and play the game in their original form and not be uh, have your experience changed by some you know woke virtue signaling game developer that wants to remove macops from the game. I'm not going to post the tweets here because they are horrible. Oh, we're going to look at them from a variety of different reasons. However, most fans understand that the nameplates was removed precisely because people vocally attacking the decision would likely use it in an offensive and improper way. Like the OK hand symbol or like Pepe the Frog, I'm sure. There is no need for a pointless cosmetic to remain in a game when it can be weaponized and abused by players in online matches. What? Oh my god. Who wrote this? This is, has to be the biggest brainlet on the planet. You know that like Twitch removed the try hard emote because all of a sudden it was uh, uh, being abused. You know, Pepe removed from Overwatch campaigns. Uh, the okay hand symbol. All these things none of which are what the mainstream media say they are, are being censored from the games. Now, does this one nameplate, its removal, mean I'm going to enjoy the game less? No. Does it mean I'm going to reconsider giving them my money because I don't want uh, them to go back and change certain aspects of the game whenever they see fit for political points? Yeah, it actually does make me consider that. Um, and... People will gaslight you and say, oh, God, you're just ha you're having a you're a man, baby. You're having a meltdown. No, no, it's not a meltdown. It's a very easy conscious decision to make to not play the game. Uh, and because uh, people with absolute horrible hot takes like this, again, most people understand this and thankfully are in unanimous agreement that the babies on the other side of the debate are essentially just shouting into the void and showing their whole rear. Really? I mean, why? I don't, if I pay for something, I don't want the person I paid for it uh, then going back and altering it to meet their own political agenda. However harmless it may be, no. If I buy a game, I expect the only changes to it to be improvements. You can't go back and change something because it's problematic, and I don't want you going back and changing something for PC reasons. And that's exactly what this is. I don't see anything terrible in these tweets. Putting the word that 343 Industries decided to remove this nameplate because it could be polarizing. However, they will gladly neave up a nameplate that's synonymous with BLM. Again, this was a political decision. In addition to other Halo 
YouTubers and Empress Cortana, who made false allegations. Yeah, okay, I'll believe I'll believe the the absolute clowns that dox and harass at Reset Era have jumped onto this alt right boycott. No, 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 no. I don't have a problem uh, with you making this change, right? But the flip side of that is you don't get to have a problem if I don't want to give you more of my money. It's that simple. The choice for video games in this world uh, has never been better and more diverse. Uh, so if, yeah, am I going to reconsider giving money to a company that wants to change in-game cosmetics to please certain people? Yeah. Am I going to think twice about giving money uh, to uh, a, a websites or people that will call anyone who would disagree with it all right? Yeah. Am I having a meltdown about it? Nah, just pointing it out so my informed viewers can decide if they want to give 343 Studios or Industries any more of their money. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.